I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. <laughs> I can imagine. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Exactly. Okay. Um, what happens if you drink a new Coca-Cola Quantum? Oh, my. It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body. <laughs> Okay. Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time. It's quite a rush. <laughs> um, are you sure you're not addicted? Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's do a, a big save here. And um, we need to go west and actually southwest. So none of these places are southwest. The scrapyard is south, but it's not really west. All right, let's look at the map. Power station minefield scrapyard. That's where we got to get to. So it looks like scrapyard's probably the closest we're going to be able to get. Let's go. Okay. Can we go in the scrapyard? We never actually have been here. We we have been by here, but we haven't been. Requires a key. Here, let's get this back on. Is that a bad bad? That's a bad bad. Oh uh, no, those are brotherhoods. I thought I saw... Some dude, like, patrolling on top of the cars. Uh, I may have been mistaken about that, though. So, I wonder if this is a place that we have to come to later for a quest. I vaguely remember it last time I played, but I don't remember. Hey, is that something? No. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything going on here. Can we come uh, go up this thing? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh! There's dead guys down there. Three oh eights, yeah, baby. That metal armor is in reasonably good condition. I'm not taking the needler. More three oh eights. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at the FAL. Damn. Oh, that's a regulator. That's one of my brothers in arms, and he has a weapon repair kit. I uh, don't. Th Authority glasses, that's funny. You know what? We need some authority glasses. Why? I don't know. We just do. Don't argue. 
It's one hell of a battle here. Alright, did we get everybody? I think so. Let's turn this back on. Oh! Shit. Is that... Oh, is this the dog com... Oh, it is! It's the dog companion! That's right. Okay. Now I remember this. I knew there was something about this place from the last time I played. All right, dog meat. Hey, buddy. What's the matter, boy? Did you lose your master? Apparently so. Okay. Uh, I know how you feel. I lost my dad. Yeah, kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, you want to come with me? It's dangerous. Don't worry, boy. You get used to losing people out here. Uh... I mean, I don't mind him coming with us, but how are we going to keep him from getting killed is the thing. And does he carry my shit? Oh, he does want to come with us. Okay. All right. So find something for me. Wait here. Stay here. Don't move till I come back. Let's talk about your... Oh, okay. Now... Go to your business and mark the spot so we can find this place again. Let's trade equipment. Oh, nice. I can also tell him to go wait for me at Vault 101. All right, how much can you... How much can you care? Wait, what? Let's trade equipment. Oh. That doesn't work. Okay, um, let's talk tactics. I want you to change... Let, let's talk about how close you're following and uh now i i have the companion wheel too stick with melee i want you to i want you to use ranged weapons yeah i want you to attack enemies the moment you see them i want you not to attack enemies unless i've already engaged them uh yeah let's let's go with that okay Talk about something else. Good boy. Okay. I can tell him to wait here, too, which is good. Go to your business and mark this spot so we can find it. What, what does that mean exactly? Does it put, like, a mark on the map? Like, a another waypoint? I don't know why this doesn't work. Okay. So, wait here. Good boy. Goodbye? That doesn't mean, like, I'm abandoning ab abandoning him, does it? No, it just means we're done talking. All right, cool. We got ourselves a dog, ladies and gentlemen. OG's best friend. I love it. Um. Okay, how do I access this? Okay, so this is the companion. Well, it's not really a wheel, but it's a quick... I'm holding down the J key. Oh, this is cool. Move. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can tell him where to go. I can tell him to chillax. I can cancel a command. Tell him to move out of the way. Follow me. Wait here. Stay close. Keep distance. Use ranged melee. Passive aggressive. Open inventory. Use aid. Attack target. Heal repair. Use okay. Um, does that work? It doesn't appear to work. All right. Well, he should, he should still be on. Don't attack anything unless I attack first. That's better than him just randomly going out and attacking shit. Cause that's how he's going to get himself killed. All right, cool. That was worth the price of admission. I knew there was something about this place, but it just, you know, it's been so long since I've played. You all right, dude? Okay, so let's take a look at a map here. Um, Evergreen, Calverton, there is a, we could travel the Jury Street Metro. 
How much caps do I have? How many caps, rather? I have 1,800 caps. Okay. Where is that... the entrance there so we can take the teleporter because I don't think I, I want to walk that far. I don't even know where the entrance is now. Over here, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, where's the where's the travel guy? He should be like right around here. There he is. Where do Okay. Let's go to Jury Street. And that'll get us pretty close to where we need to go. Oh, okay. Let's get these off. I saw... Somebody over here. There's usually like a Brotherhood patrol around here, but I've also run into Talon around here too, so. There's... Okay, somebody shot that Yao Guai with a laser rifle. Question is, is it Brotherhood or Talon? I don't know. It is a Talon Merc. So the Yao Guai must have killed him. So where's the Yao Guai? Or did they kill each other? Oh, I think we're going to leave the rest of that stuff. Okay. So let's see, we're headed southwest. Oh shit! No! You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to attack them! Unless I attack first. Are you Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Except for now our head got banged up again. Thank goodness we have no more doctor's bags. Alright. 308s, we love them. We absolutely love them. Take all of that stuff. The Mark II reinforced armor is going to be worth something. Probably don't want that scatter. That plasma rifle has mods in it. Oh, we never looked at this. That's a 308, but it only has 280 DPS. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is worth 267. Uh, wait, no. I want to modify it and take that off. Now it's worth 107. That's a brotherhood. You're kind of bloody, dude. All right, now can I get you to open your inventory? Here, put that away. Okay, use wheel to scroll, hold mouse two, and then scroll to move a command up and down. Use wheel to select a command. Use mouse two to return to companion selection. Wait, what? Use mouse two to return to companion selection. Oh, uh, 
Uh, no, I think that's a Brotherhood guy. All right, how do I... says no target open inventory it doesn't seem to work and let's trade equipment doesn't seem to work either wonder if my mods have that disabled so you don't make the dog carry things okay your tactics you're supposed to don't attack enemies unless I've already engaged them Okay. That's all. Let's get going. All right. Oh, let's do a preserved blood pack. That should give us lots of health. Okay, let's go. We're moving to the southwest here. We've already explored these houses and stuff. We explored that church over there a few episodes ago. This is the area where I killed the um, the super mutant behemoth too. That was some scary shit. All right, what's going on down there? Those are ghouls. All right, I don't know if they're if they're friendly or not. We did run into that one ghoul area that one time, and they all attacked us, unprovoked, mind you. Yeah, I got a feeling like those guys probably aren't friendly. Let's leave them alone. Okay, we're getting close. What is Calverton sewer? Okay. There's a trunk over there that might have some loot skis in it. Rataway, right broken audio disc. What? How did it come? What are you doing? How did your lead Can't open that up. There's a bot over there. And our destination as well. You s don't attack anything until I tag it. Anything or anyone. Is that another ghoul? I believe it is. Okay. That's that's definitely our target. I guess this is as good of a place as any to snipe from. There we go. I was being a la lazy and not holding my breath on that one. Having him with us is going to be handy for when Yao Guai's sneak up on me. All right, let's go advance here. All 
Are one of you guys the boss? Neither one of you are. Hmm. I hope, uh... I hope I didn't just kill some innocent guys, but why would they be hanging out at the bounty shack if they were innocent? Fiery purgative? Hmm. Okay. I'm starting to become a little concerned because this is the second... bounty location we've come to without a boss to gather the finger from. And without an apparent entry point to, you know, change cells to where the boss usually is, or at least was in the first two. Alright, well, that explains that these guys aren't friendly. What about over here? No, no secret entrances in the shitter there. The first one we did was the power line tent. We went into the tent, the boss was in there, we killed him. Second one we did was the shack way out to the west where uh, with the Talon Mercs. We went inside the shack, found the boss, killed him, and got his finger. The third one was that one that we did up north, kind of in that overpass area, and I couldn't find any boss or any entryway and then now this one's doing the same thing to us so yeah not good let's let's go ahead and go on to girder shade just to you know discover it and Oops, damn it. What I might do then is uh, fast travel back to the... Headquarters and... Just read that quest again really closely to see if maybe I'm missing something. Like, are they not all just kill a boss and grab a finger? Or is there more to it? I assume they are all that, but I could be wrong in that assumption. Guys, take a little bit more to kill. All right, so we should be able to get to Girder Shade by just going due west from here. I don't remember Girder Shade from my previous playthrough either. It doesn't mean I wasn't there, I just don't remember it. Ooh. You 
kind of make a lot of noise there, dog meat. <laughs> That's kind of useful when he pops up on the screen there, because it's like he's warning me of danger, and he's also not waiting for me to attack first. So that doesn't appear to be working right. All right, well, can I tell him to... Oops, wrong button. Attack that target. Hold on a sec. Okay, uh, hold mouse to and then scroll to move a companion up and down. No, that's to change companions. Yeah. Uh, use wheel to select a companion and open the commands bar. Okay, so I got dog meat selected and the commands bar is open. Use mouse to to return to companion selection. Okay, so I'm telling him to attack the mantis. But then when I release the button, he doesn't do it. What the hell? Shit's not working. Is there another button I'm supposed to be pressing? I mean, that just fires my weapon. The right mouse button doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think he's just attacking on a, of his own volition there. Which is not what I told him to do, so... I always get kind of frustrated with the companions in these games. They just are stupid. That seems like some kind of a POI. Let's go discover it. Mole rats. Okay, let's try that again. Attack that target. I th I, I thought all I would do is just hold the wheel. All right. Well, he's gonna go after the scorpion. Scorpion must have killed that. Smith Casey's Garage. Brotherhood. This stuff. Reloading bench. Uh, crappy laser rifle. Reinforced night vision goggles. That's what we're already wearing. How much are those worth? Not a whole lot. And we can't really use them to repair the ones we have. I also think we're going to ditch them. While we're here, we might as well break a few things down to lighten up a bit. Okay. Oh. 
What the hell's going on here? Slavers. Evening. You're... How about you just mind your own business, okay? How about... You... Do that, and you do that, and you do that. Better him than me. Better him than me. Good to see you. Okay. You guys are now free. To go your own way. And we will take their shit. Uh, you're you're okay now. You're you're safe. Well, safe is a relative term. You're safe from me. A riot shotgun. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. Let's just take a quick look. See at it. Two hundred forty-six DPS. Let's use one to repair the other. It's worth a decent amount of coin as well. Oh. Not a super great fire rate. Good to see you. Nothing like this weapon. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm a little um. Hey, I'm out of here. Run for it. What? What are you guys running from? Oh shit! Yeah, no shit. Uh, I'm a little bit frustrated that I can't get the dog to seem to do what I want him to do. Can I, okay, can I tell you to, go there. See, that doesn't seem to work either, unless, oh, okay. You have to use the middle mouse button to get him to do the stuff. But it doesn't say that in the in the directions. It talks about mouse 2. Move the crosshair over location and then use wheel. Well, okay, so it says use wheel, but it should say use mouse button 3. Well, at least I figured that out now. Okay, so does that mean then... Is there... Why are you growling? All right, so does that mean I can open your inventory? No, it still doesn't let me do that. Oh, okay, so the G on his name in the left-hand side of the screen means guard. Gotcha, okay. That doesn't do anything. Um... Follow me, wait here, stay close, keep distance. Follow me. Wait, follow. Gotcha, okay. Cool. Alright, so at least we figured that out. Again, my, uh, my guess is that one of my mods doesn't let me use him to carry stuff. So when we get a humanoid companion, we'll have to, you know, try it again and see if that uh, works. All right, anyway, we got uh, a bit sidetracked there, but the good news is we freed some slaves. It's always a worthy thing to do. We never looked in the back of this truck. Either one of these trucks. And there's stuff worthy of grabbing. Hey, how did you get killed? Maybe from the Yao Guai, I guess. All 
Nice. Okay. We could uh, just kind of quickly poke our head in here, I guess. Let's do a quick save. Okay, so there's a rad roach there. If I do this, and then I put you on attack. There it goes. Okay, nice. Very nice. Me likey. Okay, let's um, attack that mole rat. Good boy. Scrap electronics. Okay, uh, let's see. Duct tape. I hear another mole rat somewhere. Tumblers today. Duct tape. Fishing battery. Rest of that stuff. Oh, yeah, I'll bet they're down there. Some pretty decent loot in here. That police pistol is in pretty decent condition. Not taking the 22, though. All right, let's go look over here. I'll take that. That is a sensor module. What's the VW on a sensor module? It's 15. Yeah, okay. That's worth taking. This object is activated elsewhere. Uh, from here? Alright, how extensive is this place? I wonder if this is a... A world of pain... Yeah, I wonder if this is a world of pain thingy. It's a vault. Oh, cool. All right. We will come back here and do vault 112. Yes, indeed, we will. But before we wrap up this episode, I want to get to Garter Shade. Why? I don't know. I just do. Okay. We haven't actually been in any vaults in this playthrough yet. Well, except for... 101, which doesn't count, right? Alright, okay. Girder Shade is... That way. Get him, dog meat. Nice. You have discovered Girder Shade. Alright. Ronald Lauren's home. There we go. From okay. California to DC, the transporters have you covered. Sierra Petrovita's home. Is it just these two residents? Oh, there's like a gorge here or something.
Alright, I'm not seeing anything down here. Alright, well, let's go... See if we can talk to these people. Find out what the deal is. Oop, here, let's take these off. Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. Okay, thank you. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nuka Cola collection. Wow. Uh, nope, I'm not really interested in seeing your collection. I think I'd rather be smacked <laughs> with the plot instrument. Uh, let's be nice. Yeah, I would like to see your Nuka Cola I have collection. one of the. No. The best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Alrighty. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Damn straight. There's a new. <laughs> uh, what kind of stuff do you collect exactly? Well, look around you toys, banners, stools, anything I can get my hands on, really. Okay. My pride and joy is my perfect Nuka Cola machine. It's barely even scratched. Okay. Actually, I have to give credit to Ronald for donating some of it. Okay. Who's Ronald? Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. Yeah, it's probably just because it's late at night. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. Veiled threats, anyone? He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. Okay, I will. Uh, tell me more about Ronald. He's a darling. Always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Gotcha, okay. Like once, there were these raiders that came by. There were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. Lugnut's dead. <laughs> I kind of killed him. Uh, Sierra? <coughs> so they, like kicked in Ronald's door and he was like blam with his gun and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to like hit him all in his head with some club and Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. Alright. I like him already. Then the lug nut guy was in Ronald's face with the I'll kick your ass stuff and Ronald was like hell no and he punched the Sierra please I get it he's tough. Uh yeah. Oh sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Actually, I was kind of enjoying the recounting of the fight. <laughs> well, you should definitely talk to Ronald. I bet he'd like to meet you. He's such a sweetheart. Sure. Okay. Yeah, he sounds great. So you mentioned a tour or something? I sure did. Want to take it now? I guess I do. How can you resist? I know. This stuff is so cool. So cool. Yes, of course. Um, Let's do it. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. Okay. Uh. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. Okay. Cool. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. It's pretty good shape, I'd say, yeah. Got a little bit of rust on it. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. Yeah, okay. I prefer. As promised, here's a myself. little pick me up an ice cold Nuka Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. All right. Thank you. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka Cola. That's okay. <laughs> Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka Cola Quantum. Okay, tell me about Nuka Cola Quantum. Quantum, I've never heard of it before. Just cut the chase. What's this? Uh, that's not true, but that's rude, so we'll just say this. Well, right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Okay. Calling it Nuka Cola Quantum. 
It was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Okay. So what went wrong? Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the quantum's appearance. Yeah, it's kind of glowing blue, even though I don't know what it is. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue right. light. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? An isotope? An isotope? Isn't it radioactive? But all nuclear coal is radioactive. Oh, no. Only ever so mildly. <laughs> No ill effects were ever recorded. Right, because the bombs dropped right after that. Gotcha. Okay. Well, it does have the unique property of making your, um... My, um? <laughs> your pee glow. Oh, my pee. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's go. Uh, so what is your interest in all this? I love <coughs> the stuff. I can't get enough of it. Okay. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola. But the quantum beats it by a long shot. Understood. Okay. I've got to have more. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's where I come in, I guess. That's right. You bring me Nuka Cola Quantum, and I pay you handsomely, I might add. Okay. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. Okay. But if you're super cool and find like enough bottles to fill my Nuka Cola machine, thirty and all. I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Hmm. I might even have 30 Nuka Colas back at the base. Um, I don't know. But we will definitely start gathering them when we find them. Okay. Um, actually, I don't think I'm ready. No way. Uh, okay. You got a deal. Oh, goody. I can taste the quantum already. Okay. Good luck to you, sweetie. Thank you. Um, now, do I. Yeah, Grady's the one that wants us to give the jammies away. If we give the jammies away, though, then we lose 10 speech. Uh, here's all the Nuka Cola Quantum I'm currently carrying. Yay! I knew I could count on you. I promise to put them to good use. I'll bet you will. We had two of them. Okay, so we just need to find 28 more. 80 bottle caps. Cool. Okay, um... Oh, did you need something else? Yeah, where do we actually look for these? In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Yes, you sure did. Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. Okay. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. Oh, all right. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. Sounds good. Um, is there anything interesting to see near Girder Shade? Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. Yeah, I've been there. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Mm, I didn't do that. Sorry. There's something even more nastier there, too, by the way. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Okay, um, what do you know about the Nuka Cola bottling facility? Well, the D.C. facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. Okay. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Okay. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. Um... All right, what else do you know about quantum? Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. Uh, wait a minute. Prevent the glow from remaining like in your pee after you peed the first time? I think that's what she means. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. <laughs> I can imagine. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Exactly. Okay. Um, what happens if you drink a Nuka-Cola Quantum? Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body. <laughs> okay. Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time. It's quite a rush. <laughs> This lady's funny. Uh, 
what exactly does... Well, she already told well, us. Well, the bottles are glass, just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way, the glowy stuff inside should... Yeah, okay, I already knew that. Um, are you sure you're not addicted? Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. <laughs> okay, let me ask you about okay. something else. Uh, do you know somebody named Grady? Nope. Sorry. Oh. Mm, okay. Good luck. Watch out for meanies. Yeah, watch out for meanies. That's good advice. Okay, so we will go back to, um, you know, when we go back home, rather. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Uh, I was checking out Sierra's Nuka Cola collection. Yep, that's exactly what I was doing. That better be all you were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. I was not messing with your woman. You don't need to be worry about that. She, I'm not messing with anything. Hey, she's my girl taking a... <laughs> nope, I'm not messing with anything. Good. I aim to keep it that way. Okay, that's fine. You, you take care of her. She's a fine woman. I'd love to get closer to her, if you know what I mean. As long as you do it in the right way, sure. Um, what the hell's wrong with you? You're sick. I don't have time for this nonsense. What are you driving at? Wow, you are as naive as you look. Careful, buddy. I got a big-ass shotgun. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know. Plow her bean field. Come on, kid. You're a little crass there, dude. Um, can't say I blame you. That's disgusting. <laughs> I still don't get it. Uh, <coughs> she's kind of cute, I guess. I, well, the thing is, though, is, is he actually a dickweed? I mean, she seemed to like him. So he, she said he was really sweet. Um, And as long as it's consensual, I mean, I don't know. I guess I can't blame you. Now you're speaking my language. As long as you're a good dude, that's the main thing. Well, only problem is she won't give it up for me. That's where you come into the picture. <laughs> okay. Um, Just what is it you think I'm going to do about this? I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. Okay. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. Okay. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Yeah, but what about the special prize I was supposed to get at the end? Um... Why the hell would I give them the same price? I want triple for each. Uh, no, I made the deal with her, not with you. So fuck off. Well, look, don't answer me now. Just keep it in mind. If you find some and you've had a change of heart, I'll still buy them. Okay. Oh, and I wouldn't bother running back to Sierra and warning her. She won't even understand what you're I talking I can believe about. that. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just... Go up and ask her, you know, be a gentleman and all that about it. She she does like you, you know, she thinks you're a sweetie. She may be a hottie, but she's a bit vacant in the smarts department. Well, I think she may have had one too many Nuka-Cola Quantums. Okay, so, um... Okay, Ronald. My offer still stands, bring me... Do you know anybody named... What the hell's his name? Oh. Well, oh, she may... Yes, he doesn't. Grady. Yeah. Okay, so if she doesn't know about Grady, and I don't even have the option to talk to him about Grady, you know what that means? It means we get to keep our jammies. Uh, alright, so... I guess we're done here for now. I don't remember, uh, like I said, how many Nuka-Cola Quantums I currently have. I don't think I have 30, but I might. Let's see. And actually, we only need to... Uh, we only need to bring her uh, 28 now anyways, because we just gave her two. We have 20. Okay. So uh, we can give those to her, and then we just need to find eight more. Very nice. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, let's wrap up the episode here, and then uh, in the next episode, let's take a look at the map here. Um, 
We haven't really been in the northwest part of the map too much. Looks like there's like a big river up there. So we could go that direction. Um, we've cut, we've pretty much went here and then have been all around in here, but we haven't been around in there. And I'd like to see if I can figure out what this north... What is this? Oh, that's the Nuka-Cola plant. Okay. I'll bet you... I bet you we could probably find eight more Nuka-Colas in that plant. Wagner's Cavern. Uh, but I still want to do some explore exploration in the north... In the direct north... Because we were more, you know, northeast and the northwest area. And then also in the southwest area and south area, too. I'm not, it's not my goal to visit every single POI on the map, but I just want to, you know, I want to feel like we did a good job of exploring it and looking at, you know, m many of the locations, not necessarily every single one of them. So, yeah, I think that's the plan. Uh, for the next episode and i gotta figure out what the hell's going on with the, these regulator quests too so with that being said thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye